Oh, Carl, thrilling game of football. What's your take on that? Um, entertaining, to say the least, but um, defensively, we, you know, we probably conceded four goals from our own mistakes, um, which is disappointing, but the, the spirit and the, um, the will to get back in the game from the lads was, was different class in the second half. Thought we were un- underperformed in the first half, you yeah. know, and um, told them that at half time, and they came out and, and you know showed us what they, they, they really are capable of in the second half. Yeah, we, we were saying they needed something the first ten minutes, but we didn't expect to get two in the first ten minutes, so they really came out out the blocks, didn't they? Yeah, that's it. And you know, when we get to that point, then it, it's time to really try and uh, put works up to the sword. But um, unfortunately, we gave we considered a, a soft penalty, you know, which again we had to raise ourselves, which they yeah. did. Um, and then we've got in front, and um, we should have saw the game out. In my, in my opinion, the uh, referees had a bit of a nightmare on the on the equalising goal just in the build up to that I think Lee Neville was, was basically cut in half yeah. by a challenge and it should have been a um, it should have been a foul to us um, but that's the way it goes I suppose So you, you changed it in the second half obviously and uh, and things started to happen for us D- did we play into their hands a little bit in the first half did you think with the sort of big balls up to Greavesy and, and they were just cutting them out weren't they yeah, I don't think we played in the first right. half I, I, you know, I don't think we created anything I didn't think there was there was a any real desire or any real belief in the, in the side, you know, which was disappointing. It looked as though workshop had turned up to, you know, were really fired up for it, and um, we just looked as though we were we kind of just turning up and expecting to win the game, you know, which you'll never ever do at this level. Um, but like I said, we had to a chat with them in the second at half time, and um, we got it right in the second half. What what was your main points at half time, Carl? What exactly did you did you say to him? Just to show belief in everything that we did, and right. um, you know, definitely get the work rate up um, and get some aggression into our game because yeah. it was a bit, yeah. bit, bit powder puffed. There's no tackle going in, and um, I think we saw that in the second half. I think we uh, we upped that, that that aspect of our game. The aggression level went up, and um, you know, we got us back into it. Yeah, I mean at half time two 0 down it didn't it didn't look great, but you, you did change it. Norton came on. I thought, um, you know, he, he got th- the first three headers that came his way, won them all, yeah. which we hadn't been doing. So, so that was a good one. What was what was you thinking there with Norts and, and and Tom Greaves there? Um, just to to give them a problem really. The, the yeah. two centre halves I thought were were comfortable ish um, with Greaves. Um, you know, and Norts just offers you that. That little different aspects as well, you know, which uh, you know, that, I think it, it, it paid off for us. Um, you know, going four four two, I'm pretty sure that Daniels would be disappointed in being substituted, but um, you know, it, we, had, we had to do it for the good of the team because uh, I didn't think Greg had, had put done that much wrong. You know, he scored a good goal and stuff, but um, just thought we needed to go four four two um, and, and start giving them a problem. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Greg was a bit lucky in that sense, but you did clearly need to change it. And and Nelson came on, and and, and he looked sharp too, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's been, he's been very impressive in in training and stuff. And um, the ball he whipped in for for Norts, he's had a um, yeah. was, was different class, you know. So hopefully, bright things from from young Nelson. I think um, he's settling in and uh, looks as though he, he's he's uh, very promising. Yeah, certainly, and, and and we've got all the other players. That Joe Fox has, has come in as well. Is he yeah. is he going to get a game soon as well? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's it's just a, a kind of a, a waiting game for for Joe. We know we, we we've introduced him a couple of times as substitute, and he, he's done great. You know, and so um, I'm sure we've bide his time, and he'll get his chance, and it's up to him then to take it. We we can't dismiss uh, Wolfie's goal, can we? That was absolutely spectacular. I don't know how he got his foot that high, to be honest. No, no. Yeah, he's, he's having a laugh and a joke. Is he's, uh, he's probably scuffed it a little bit. But <laughs> it's not too bad when you scuff him. And they'll, they'll end up in the, is that what he uh, said, or is that what you said? It? Well, no, he did. He said, uh, he said if it, if it had caught it really cleanly, he probably wouldn't have gone in. But um, you know, he, he's deserved that. You know, his yeah. his, um, his work rate's been phenomenal, and um, he's. He's, he's got his just rewards today. So I'm pleased for him. Yeah, I mean we're on a decent run. We didn't look like that at half time, but you, you know, obviously the team pulled it around. You, you got them going in the second half. Um, where, where does that put us? Do you think in terms of the league and, and, and where we where we're heading at the moment? Um, it's still very early days. I don't even know where we are in the league. To be honest, okay. I don't look. Um, you know, it's still very early days. It's, it's, God knows how many games to go still, and there'll be plenty of twists and turns. What we've got to do is make sure. 
that we the, the belief that we showed and the aggression that we showed in the second half, we, we approach every game like that. And yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll we'll have more positive results than we will uh, negative ones. Yeah, and we've got a big game next week, as you know, at Fylde. And what's what's your thinking around now, or have you have you not thought about that no, yet? I'm not even thinking about, <laughs> thinking about Tuesday good. night, maybe. Yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday. You know, we've got the uh, we've got training, so um, we can have a look at the the Fylde. Um, how they're shaping up and I think they've got a few injuries so uh, it's one to we'll have a look at later on in the week. Oh, and what about our injuries, where are we on that front? Um, we, we seem to be okay obviously Jerome right with the, with yeah. the broken arm, um, Dean Stott's got a little bit of a, a, right. a strain near his hip, um, Chris Worsley hopefully will be back soon. Good. Um, but other than that I think we're, we, you know, we're getting there. Right, so, so summary, Carl, Carl, was that a, a point gained or two points lost in your opinion? Well, I, you know, after being 2 0 down at half time, it's definitely a point gained, but, um, you know, we need to try and make sure we see when we, when we do get our noses in front in a game like that. Just see it out. Try, and, try and see it out. You know, like I say, I don't think we were helped in that respect by, by the officials. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure there were any neutrals in the ground today, but if there had been, they'd have got. Plenty of uh, value for their eight quid, wouldn't they? Well, that's it. It's a <laughs> pound of gold in it, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Carl. Cheers. Well done. Thanks. A lot. Thanks.